Hello. Hello to everyone. Hello. And thanks to stay to the last speech tonight. Tonight. Today. Uh, well, I will, I will be talking about uh, Champion of Chaos, a browser game that we made in 2010, and how we learn from our previous RPGs, it was an RPG, how we learn from our previous experience making game to uh, make this game that was a success in the browser. Well, what were our previous experience? We have made three RPGs, uh, Champion of Cha Champions of Chaos of Mana, an arena RPG, uh, Iron Shinobi, a hack and slash RPG, and Chaos Down, an open world classic RPG. Chaos of Mana uh, was a really linear and simple uh, RPG, mainly because uh, at that time I was really noob at making games, so I make it the more simple, the better. Iron Shinobi, well, was a hack and slash, uh, you have played like Zelda, and Charles Down was uh, a very open world. It, it has a very open world. Uh, so it was very complex in that sense. Uh, what we learned for this experience? Champion of uh, Charles of Mana uh, has a great uh, reception. People like it because it was really, really simple. So. We learn casual gamers like it simple. The simpler, the better. If a game is simple, they can lose. The people who is playing in browser games, usually they are playing at the office or they are playing in, in home and they are, don't like uh, hard mechanics or, too, or, or that the game is too oriented toward hard mechanics. So the simpler, the better. And casual players also love customizations. They, li they like to add things and stuff and, and change the air style and change the name and change the, 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 the eye style, and etc. So they love customization. Uh, well, the, the game has to be easy and uh, has to have a story. People love the story of the previous games and they remember it because they were full of story, uh, silly, silly jokes and stuff. Uh, that was. Uh, the challenge that we face when making Champion of Chaos, uh, it has to have a, a, a good party performance because, as we said before, we want a, 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 the game is like, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, we need to make a, a, a game really customizable uh, that player can customize the game. So. We add, we add like uh, eight classes. So the, the player has to have a, a good performance choosing any kind of uh, combination, like a paladin with a mage has to work with a mage and a rogue, uh, and etc. So it, that was a challenge. Make that the classes work even if they are like too focused on damage or too focused on tanking. Uh, voice and story performance, like this is a browser game. So it has to, uh, we, we would like to make it uh, a, with a full voice uh, story, but since it was browser, it has to, has, uh, it had to be uh, light, it has to be light. So we will try to compress the sound, the much the better. And what rewards to give and what else to do on the game? Because the game is, as we say before, too linear, so it has to have a, a mini game or something. Well, how we solve these problems? Uh, party performance, uh, we have three choices. Make the professional not uh, highly defined. Uh, like I said before, a tank or damage dealer. Uh, but uh, make each, uh, all the classes more or less the same. Or forcing the, ch uh, the other choice was forcing the player to choose the tank uh, or another damage dealer. Like if you choose a, a, a rogue, you have to choose then a paladin or a warrior or a shielder. Uh, and, or the, the third uh, was uh, balance the game to the dead and make the boss tricky instead of uh, make the boss with a lot of HP, make it with tricky mechanics. And we went for the tricky mechanics. 
Uh, for advice and story performance, uh, we have three choices again. Uh, uh, we have made the, to make the chart with a different story, but the game will be heavier. Uh, Cancelling the idea of the voices to develop more characters so we can add more story. Or uh, creating a side party that will make the voices and, we, and the, fo the story will be more generic. So we decided to go with the generic storyline. So it was only needed to record one story instead of like eight. Um, and uh, about uh, the, it says both in story performance, but it's about what else to do in the game uh, and in the mini games. We decided to give, uh, we, we have three options that give money as, or, as a reward on the mini games give special items or give experience uh, as reward. We decide to go with uh, give money as reward, so if you want to skip the mini games, you can skip and there is no problem. And the challenge as human group, as there were a lot of uh, characters to choose, there were a lot of spells to do. They were like uh, 18 spells. So there was a lot of communication problems there because uh, one, we decide to make a stun or, or the, this spell have to hit like this or do like that. So we have a lot of communication problem, but we solved it with documentation. Now <laughs> it's that easy. So we decide to write everything down before starting to make a new spell or something. We check it, we approve it, and then we do it. Uh, what, what was the reception of the product? Well, the game was played by more than 10 million uh, people. It received a really high score in Congregate and uh, uh, in all the places that were a score system. There is a lot of videos on YouTube about the game, about guides, Walter, people really love this game. It, it was awesome. Uh, and the, the things that people say, the, the customization, the people like a lot of the customization, so keep in mind customization when you are making a game for, the, for this kind of uh, browser games. Uh, the fast game progression, the silly humor, people like to be able to purchase wives and be able to purchase cheerleader on the pet shop. Uh, and, the, and the bosses, the bosses with tricks instead of a lot of HP and a lot of damage. And well, the, the plot, the people also love the plot and the story. And even some people here, I, I meet that they recall the story of the game and they talk about some burrito or something that the, the game has. Uh, the mistake we made, some spells uh, in, certain con in certain conditions were glitches, oh, were glitched. Uh, the last boss was too easy, uh, or the uh, least, uh, but last was, was too hard. People say, yeah, people say, ah, but the last uh, bosses before the were, so, well, that was the point. Uh, and some parties were too overpowered, because, the, as, as before I say, in finding a, a mill point, it was too hard. So some parties were overpowered, but it was okay for us. Uh, what we learned? We learned that learning from previous experience gives results, uh, that we should use documentation, uh, that we must make a more smooth difficulty curve, and that casual players like it easy, and casual players like, like customization. So keep that in mind. Uh, but more important, we know that we can make a game that is like uh, that uh, that we can make a, a massive game. A lot of people can play it and and they love it, and that was great. And that's what we are making now, Champion of Child 2. And if you like to play it at the right there at the, in the showcase, go there and uh, we stay in contact. That's all, and we meet on the Indie Mingle. Right. To, to some. Thanks.